Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam from the Soul of Stella with another pick a card reading for you. I know it's been a while, but I'm going to do the next 30 days in love for you. Just with three piles, we're going to keep it nice and short and I'm going to try and be a little bit more consistent with the long form readings. If you've come from Instagram or TikTok, if you could let me know in the comments below, I would love to welcome you in. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you following, you know, me around. <laughs> um, and I'd love to hear how this resonates for you as well. If you're not already subscribed, please do that so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. But with love readings, I just want to remind you that time is fluid, that we all have divine masculine and feminine elements within each of us, uh, that we cannot control what other people do. We can only control ourselves uh, and that, you know, don't give your power away to tarot please only take what resonates. So with all that being said, this is pile number one. I've got the rise card for you, pile number one. Pile number two, this card says sister, but there's this kind of flapper girl image on there that may resonate with you. And this is pile number three and it says bloom. So take a moment, pause the video if you need to. Timestamps are below for whatever pile that you chose and I will see you in there. Pile number one, you chose the Rise card, and this is your next 30 days in love reading. We're going to get some Astro Dice out on the table first and foremost. Pile number one, next 30 days in love. Ooh, hi. We have the fourth house, we have the sun, and we have Pisces energy. So, yeah, beautiful energy. This is very uh, sensitized, but in your sensitivity in the spotlight or your sensitivity being your power the sun speaks of new beginnings it talks about your personality your ego your confidence so maybe having more confidence in emotional issues as well with um pisces showing up here um pisces being imaginative being mutable um ruled by neptune okay so neptune also speaks of uh subconscious dreams spirituality and yeah, sensitivity. The fourth house here talking about roots, home, nurturing, ancestry, um, a youthful energy and mothering energy as well. But the fours are also about foundations. So you could actually be starting a new beginning with someone who you feel very emotionally drawn to or even emotionally safe with is how I'm reading this because perhaps they're a fire sign and you're a water sign, doesn't have to be. Um, but it's like your, your heart has found a home and that makes you feel really confident in this relationship. Interesting. I like that. Nice way to start the reading, actually. I'm going to pop those up there. You can't even see them. Uh, you know what they are. All right. Let's have a look at some tarot straight up. Let me ask my question first, spirit. While I do that, I notice a couple of cards are not upright. Okay, who is coming towards pile number one? Ooh, Empress. That's very like home, mothery type of energy. Queen of all queens. So yeah, you could be moving in with someone, especially if you're trying to start a family with someone. Ooh, that did initially come out. Yeah, it's kind of in the blockage position. Ten of Pentacles in the blockage position. Some of you might be thinking right now, I don't know about that, Sam. I don't have the money to do that. But I know that with our powers combined, in terms of resources perhaps, that we really could start a family. These two cards are really talking about let's start a family and let's make it like last forever. <laughs> I don't know why I just heard um, forever, ever, forever, ever. Okay. Love that song. Ooh, love is in reverse. Who is coming towards? Okay. So it's it's almost like a secret admirer with the lovers in reverse and the seven of swords. It's like this person isn't fully revealing their true feelings. Um, and they think of you as someone who they could have children with. Or this is a, a divine kind of feminine energy that's coming forward and is a little bit uh, trepidatious to do so. Why the seven of swords? What are they feeling here? Three of Wands. They're just waiting for the right time to make their move. They know that there's something. They're, they're waiting, waiting for the right opportunity. What's the right, right opportunity in their mind? What's the right opportunity in their mind to come forward and be honest? This Seven of Swords has two, the two swords uncrossed. So I don't think they're in denial of their feelings. 
They just need to... It's, it's happening soon, is how, uh, is how this comes across. The Ten of Wands is kind of saying they just had some burdens and responsibilities that they needed to put down, or that you did. And so that's what why the Ten of Pentacles is here, but it's just like, just give me a minute and then I'll turn it around, okay? Then I'll come forward. Then I know that you... It's almost like a sure thing that YouTube will rise in love rather than fall in love. Because it, there's a familiarity. Now, only take that if it resonates, but it could be a, a bit of a deja vu situation or you could know this person. Mercury is still in retrograde while I'm filming this, but this is a timeless reading. Whatever you find it, apply it to your situation and maybe look at what's happening astrologically at the time. But this uh, transformation, the butterfly is transforming. So that's what they're waiting for. They're just waiting for the transformation to be complete. I just heard locked in. So yeah, there's a lot of love between you both, but you may not be aware of it just yet. How else does this person feel about pile number one? How's this person feel about pile number one? They've had to tread with caution or they've had to pace themselves. I get the feeling that when they see you, they are overwhelmed with emotion. I just got extremely hot, like instantly hot. So yeah, overwhelmed with emotion and they have to kind of appear cool, calm and collected because they don't want to scare you off perhaps, or they just don't want to look a fool. Two of cups. Yeah. I feel like this person hasn't really told you exactly how they feel and they they might be a little unsure about how you feel. How does pile one feel about this person? How does pile one you could feel a little bit disappointed in this person, especially if it's been a hot and cold ongoing situation. Um, or if you've had to wait a long time with that Knight of Pentacles for this person or yourself to be done with something, um, to close out a chapter. Queen of Swords. So you've asserted your boundaries is what this feels like. It, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're open to opportunities though. And look, if you were to be given a commitment, okay, whether that was a key to the home, okay, because we got the fourth house and then we've got this element of like mothering energy and a place to call home that we can create a legacy and leave impact and perhaps have children and, or, or you know, I just heard raise the chickens. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but kind of love that for you. Go raise those chickens. Um, if you had... <clears throat> my throat chakra completely closed up. So some of you were like, no, that's not what I want at all. Look, for the majority, yeah, you just want clarity. You're on the edge of almost giving up on this. So that's why you've had to be so assertive. And that's why you've really, I feel like you've surrendered to whatever is going to unfold with this situation, which is really, really healthy, especially if this is like a twin flame kind of situation with the butterfly and the rise in love and just the sensitivity, the sun and the time of year, everything just really feels like, okay, this could be something pretty amazing. But for a lot of you, I feel like you've really surrendered to the timing that you understood that this was divinely guided and um, you've done the best that you could. And asserting your boundaries was a healthy option for you, but you really need to know that this person does have those feelings. All these cards about the two of cups, the soulmate energy, the lovers choosing each other, right? Because it's two people choosing each other. It's two people choosing each other. The ten of pentacles when it's round the right way. The king of cups when it's up the right way. That's that's someone saying, hey, I'm emotionally available now. I'm opening my heart to you now. If you don't get that, you're willing to take a job elsewhere or to take leave elsewhere, like to, to open a new door is how this feels. So you want commitment in terms of perhaps a ring um, or, you know, a promise or it's a key to this person's heart, but also to a home together. What's the future of this connection over the next 30 days? Justice, yeah, someone perhaps needed to just finalize the, the loose ends of a divorce or a legal matter. I also feel like it needs to come into a state of balance and your finances perhaps need to, to come into a state of independent balance so that you could be really proud of yourself so that you could perhaps remember how worthy you are. It feels like you've asserted your boundaries, but you're also kind of like one toe in the water still. And you're like, well, maybe they're not choosing me because I'm not good enough or I don't make enough money. And if we were to do this, would I look like a, 
a no hoper coming in without my dowry. I don't know why the wording is coming up like that, but it may be that you just need to unblock some of your blessings. And if you are starting your own business, okay, with this Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles and the Justice, it's getting all your ducks in a row so that you can move forward with that powerfully. But you also have the world card here. So you could be taking a trip with this person, especially if money starts to flow better and there is a commitment of sorts. It's like, okay, well, let's go spend some quality time together since it's been so hot and cold or on and off. However it resonates, if this is someone who is a secret admirer and you absolutely have no idea, that could apply as well. There's a sense of friendship it's a, or a sense of knowing here at least, at the very least. Um, you might have messages in other piles as well. So if you were drawn to multiple cards, don't deny that. Give yourself the chance. And that's why I want to keep them short and sweet today too is because um, I want to give you guys just enough so that you can go into the world and let things unfold. Um, but I do feel like there's a chapter that needs to end so that this one can begin. And I think that's where the justice, the, the sword of justice will come down. It'll be like, check, clear, stamp of approval. Okay. File that away. Next thing. And not to be like, thank you next, but more like now we can finally move forward. We've got the go ahead, the green light, the red tapes out of the way. Um, and congratulations, I want to say, because it feels like independently you're both doing really well there there has been investment here and it's not for nothing is what spirit's saying it's not for nothing this is definitely divinely guided and this feels like a now or never type of time for this to unfold for you guys which is very very healthy queen of pentacles so this love kind of unblocks any financial burdens for you pile number one is what i'm feeling with that let me get some more cards out here what is the nature of this connection what is the nature of this connection what is the nature of this connection for pile number one and this person over the next 30 days? Getting to know each other. Playfulness. Yeah, you need that. Let go of control issues. Can I grab one more, please, Spirit? Yeah, so you've really, like, let this uh, situation unfold naturally where perhaps you were holding on too tightly. It may or may not have slowed things down. It's not that it's your fault by any means, but especially if this is resonating as a twin flame uh, relationship for you. Um, even like an intense soulmate. Um, I mean, it's real life, isn't it? People have stuff going on. Um, and sometimes it's just not that easy. Um, then maybe you, you really, uh, had to surrender so that this person could learn their lessons and grow and evolve. And you could also focus on, I feel for, if you are the divine feminine, uh, come into like a more spiritually aligned place, especially with that Pisces energy and kind of coming home to yourself, which is a message that I feel like I've been getting a lot lately. So, um, someone in my collective or a group of you in my collective really are going through that. And I understand that definitely. So honeymoon, there is a sense of like either commitment with engagement and a quiet ceremony. Um, something where it's like, we just, we just want something low key. We just want this to be chill after everything has been so chaotic. Um, we don't want to overburden ourselves even financially. We don't want that, even though it feels like the person you're dealing with may have money. Um, and that you may be coming into more money. Uh, but the world says, let's, let's just go and like create, a, create our own little world out in the world where we can escape our everyday world. Okay. So let me get some final advice out here for you. Final advice out here for pile number one with the next 30 days in love. Trust. Oh, that's beautiful. I, know, I was going to say there's the chickens, but no, that's a a goose and a duck, I believe. I could be wrong. The one sitting down could be a goose as well, but duck, duck, goose. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, will they choose me? I don't know. And the three and the two is a five. So trust that there's a uh, change coming. This is an egg moon card. So yeah, something's about to be born, right? The, the empress births new creations into life. The sun births a new day. It's a positive shift, definitely. Trust that all will work out for your best and highest good. Wow, a very similar message with Faith. And she looks very Empress-like. This is a very Empress kind of card for me. And again, coming home, three and one is four, coming home to yourself and that self-belief that you have the power to co-create your existence and, and everything that goes along with it, okay? The, the kind of life that you want to live. Um, and look, if you're trying not to have children, look, be just be careful because there's a lot of fertile energy here. And it's fertile grounds for for love to rise right to bloom here even though pile number three got a bloom card you might be drawn to that because 
I just un unwittingly said that. So yeah, rising in love. Bottom of the deck, you have surrender, but it is in the reverse position, but I don't really read reversals in this deck. But yeah, surrender. I feel like everything you're asking for is coming and it almost feels like magical. There's something kind of Harry Potter-ish about this card. There's something like a uh, never ending story about this card. There's even something um, where the wild things are or what, where the wild things were, I don't know, are, were, you know, that beautiful little book. So yeah, there's something quite magical happening here. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So prepare for a massive transformation and for this to uh, really start taking action forward and to, to have this love that you rise together in, in infinite potential. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love this for you. Pile number one, please ground yourself. Take a few deep breaths after this. Uh, and of course, always take it how it resonates. But if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, if this resonated with you very specifically and you'd like to book a personal reading and go deeper, um, you can do so in the description box below. You can also find all the decks that I use, um, links to my merch shop and everything else as well. But yeah, thank you so much for being here. Let me know how it resonates below and I will talk to you guys soon. Good luck. Pile number two, you chose the sister card or this beautiful yellow solar plexus light rainbow card. And it looks very Great Gatsby or, um, you know, 19, 1920s looking. It uh, looks like there's a message coming with this card. It could fe feel like a friend with that sister element to it. Um, could be a same sex connection, especially if you resonate as the divine feminine. But it also feels like this could be a friend of someone that you that you know or a friend of a family member. And there's a little birdie delivering a message here. Let's get the Astro Dice out. What does pile number two need to know for love in the next 30 days? Ooh, we have Aries energy. We have the 11th house and we have Pluto, which goes that way. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So I feel like there's some fire brimming. Ooh, brimstone and fire. Ooh, ooh, a little magic. Love that. The 11th house is talking about community. And again, friendship, collective. That makes a lot of sense. Um, this can also be like adopted or stepchildren, right? So that's where sister could come into it. Um, social circle, like wishes coming true. It's also like make a wish kind of foundation kind of energy. So, um, you know, someone who, whose social causes are uh, important to them. Although that's more 10th house, it just feels like a community group or I know this person, it was a networked kind of friend of a friend, mutual setup kind of situation. But with Pluto here, this is a scorpionic energy. So it's, um, can be very destructive. Okay. So it could, um, I just, I just heard ripper fold in the fabric. What? That's something you would say like when a star erupts or something in the fabric of the universe. Yeah, I feel like it might be a little bit destructive to your current status quo in your life that this comes in like a hot comet, you know, or a meteorite. Um, it's, got in, it's got intensity, it's got power, um, it's very transformative for sure. But again, I'm actually getting wealth because the, the other thing about 11th house that I don't often talk about is that the, it rules philanthropy as well. So this could be someone that has a lot of earned wealth or um, with one and one coming together, making two. It could be a partnership where someone is very wealthy, but they you wouldn't know it because of the community work that they do or a partnership where it's you and another person coming together and you both have a sense of... Um, uh, social awareness let's say that I feel a level of free thinking between the two of you but it may change the dynamic of maybe your entire friend group okay interesting I'm interested to see where this takes us spirit tell us more about who is this person that is coming through for pile number two in the next 30 days Who's this person that is coming through? They could, of course, be a Scorpio or be an Aries. We have the Lovers Upright, Four of Pentacles. Just checking my deck. In reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. This feels like someone who has been um, stuck for a very long time, or at least they thought they were. Why all this stuck energy? 
Nine of Cups in reverse, they were very unhappy with their life, very unsatisfied. So yeah, I mean, this could be someone who's coming in with a lot of wealth um, and wanting to start up philanthrop like a philanthropic um, endeavor. And perhaps that's where they meet you is because that's what you're interested in um, a not for profit or something like that. And they want to invest or they want to, you know, learn more about it and they want to start filling their cup again and stop being so bloody stubborn about their heart chakra um, and stop being like, they want to live again. It feels like they've put themselves on a bit of a, a mountain top and, and no one comes to visit and so to speak. And I do feel like with this lover's card, they're very much choosing um, you, but they're choosing to love again. Interesting. Why is this all coming unblocked? How do they feel for pile number one? King of Pentacles, they feel like a protector and provider for sure. Um, they don't think that you will be open to it though, so they're a little bit curious about that. They may be quite direct, and that's why you may not know um, that this person even wants that. Yeah, they're going to start small. They're going to try and make their presence known in a small way to begin with. Um, it's a, it feels like they want to learn more about you to gain more wisdom about how to overcome perhaps where you are a leader and you're, you know, very professional, perhaps you're someone who is just giving them directives in a very like, you know, I'm here for business kind of manner, especially if you're dealing with a large group of people and this person comes along, you're like, okay, let's call them What's a, a, a mute? Well, my name, <laughs> Sam, right? Is a, is a non-gender name, I guess. So it's like, oh, Sam, you, you go there and you do this and, and Barry, you go do that. And, you know, it, I, I need you to man this station and together we're going to have such a great, it's a, it's almost like this person is quietly observing, but they've already chosen you. Ooh, I can't help but feel that that's a tiny bit creepy for some of you. Um, Obviously, this isn't like every 30 days you're going to meet the love of your life, but this is something that you might actually come around to because it is coming up as a prevalent energy for you over the next 30 days. Just someone to be aware of that thinks that you'd be a, a, a divine counterpart kind of couple, that you'd be great together, that your skills and leadership and your confidence um, and your spiritual beliefs and values, your drive, your willpower, the way you strategize a meeting and get, get all this done they think that that would be an amazing balance to them. So that's why this, this lovers is like, a, a, let's choose each other because this would be an amazing partnership. Though if you've ever been in a relationship where it just felt like a partnership and not a, a, a romance, not a relationship, then you may feel the ick that I'm feeling as well. Or I'm actually picking up on someone's energy here where they're just instantly like, I know who this is and I don't want it. <laughs> Like I said to pile number one, though, you could have messages in multiple groups. Um, so don't be afraid. They're very short today to just go and watch um, anything that you are drawn to. Now, how does pile one feel about this person? Oh, I feel like you do have a sense of awareness or you're about to in the next 30 days have a sense of awareness that this person, um, it's almost like they're heavily thinking about you. So you're heavily thinking about them and you're like, I wonder why, why is this person on my mind? And it may be that, you know, destructive influence where you're like what you can't you can't you can't be interested in that person because you know they're our investor or that's the teacher or that's the um that's the representative or you know whatever it is or that person is older right this person could come across as someone who is older doesn't have to though i'm just getting a little bit like entrepreneurial kind of energy from this person um Okay, how does pile two feel about this person? How does pile two feel about this person? Yeah, at first you're not quite sure. You know, you're like, hang on, why am I thinking about this person? But every time you speak, you do feel quite calm and balanced around this person. And for whatever reason, this person has brought a sense of balance, whether that's fiscal, like financially, they've brought a sense of balance to your, your job or your career or even your they may have actually invested in you as you know a member of the community that needed help or something like that and they've considerably made your life uh better your day better when you see them you're you're considerably 
considerably more happy. Um, it feels like this person is so sick of the way that they've been closed off that they may be overdoing it. Although these aren't overtly friendly cards, you get an overtly friendly resonance from this person. Um, or it just at least feels safe, sound, stable, you know, dependable. Like, what, what do we know for sure? The sun's always going to rise the next day. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. Do you know what I mean? Um, interesting. How does pile... Okay, justice in the blockage position. So, yeah, there could, this person could be married. I'm not going to lie. Um, or they could be already... Like, that's where the lovers is here. It's like, oh, forbidden love, but I choose you. I choose to go down this path. It's a choice. Um, or they could be already in a, an, another commitment. Or it could be, like, that could be the like I said before, like the investor or something. And it's like, that could be a destructive thing that, you know, would I lose the friendship? Would I lose the, the, um, investment? Would I lose, would I destroy this for the collective, you know, group that you're dealing with here? And also like, would I be judged harshly for engaging in this? And that's why you're stressing late at night. It's like, Ooh, I'm not sure about this. Okay. So where to from here? Where to from here for pile number two and this connection over the next 30 days? Where to from here? Two of Cups. I think you're both, wow, I saw that and it was in the reverse position and it just flew out and it's completely upright. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. So I feel like this person's going to say to you, hey, I think we've got something here. Why don't we try it out? Um, do you feel it? Yeah, I feel it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> And they're just going to be quite direct. And I think both of you are quite direct uh, speakers. So it, whatever you are working on together, collaborating on together or collectively working on together, it's to the point where you're already very direct with each other and you're very good at communicating with each other. Um, even if it's like cold sometimes or it's like assertive, right? Um there hasn't been much like emotional exchange between the two of you, but you're actually saying, or this person's saying to you, um, you might even say it at the same time, look, this is ridiculous. We need to actually hang out and see if we're a good match. It's a, it's a breakthrough too. So again, Pluto, it's like a breakthrough. It's intensity. Oh, wow. We've really got to address this like tension in the room because <laughs> everyone else is feeling it. And, and we need to do something about it. And look how dark it is, right? This could be something that's quite private. These two cards are quite dark. It's private to begin with. But there is some um, there is some promise here. There's something that feels, again, quite steady between the two of you. Yeah, there's the privacy. Look, if this is an affair, no judgment. It's just, you know, it's giving that kind of energy of like, if it's in private and then someone's got ulterior motives... Um, what is the seven of swords here? Okay. Goodness. Wow. This person could just be like, look, I've opened my heart and, and I've chosen you. So like one date in there, like, yeah, I think we should do this. Like, let's do it. And you're completely shocked. Compl it completely takes you by surprise. You may have dreamt it. But they're so independent and they so don't need you. And maybe you are very independent as well with this Nine of Pentacles. And so you don't think you need anyone. And you think, right, with justice in the in the blockage position here, you might think that marriage or commitment or something like that is just, you know, for fools who fall in love. And all of a sudden it's like, hey, I've got this offer for you. I've got this commitment for you. I, I think that we should do this. I feel like you're my soulmate. So, yeah, if it's not an affair, this is like a... This person's hidden agenda is like, I want to propose. I want to propose that we commit. I want to propose that we move in. I would like to offer you a job. Like, I want to get closer to you, for sure. With the Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. Mm. Queen of Pentacles again. Because <laughs> we're a good couple. Because we fit so nicely together. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Let's get some... What is at play in this connection? What is at play in this connection for pile number two? What's at play? Can I have two more, please? Yep. Thank you. 
yeah with that um chemistry card it's like people can <laughs> people can smell it wow look at that passion and chemistry it's like if you have to be stern with each other you kind of love it <laughs> oh that's funny it's like yeah <laughs> be mean to me give me all the jobs <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Romantic feelings and past life relationship. Hang on. I know you from somewhere. This feels good. This feels safe. This feels, um, you have known each other before. So whether it was a past life relationship or like I said, whether this is a friend and you meet them later in life, maybe it was a friend of a, a sibling. Um, even like an, I'm getting like a neighborhood friend <laughs> and then you see them as an adult and it's like this big reunion energy. Gosh, this could be a novel. Is someone writing some kind of romance novel about this situation? And I just fully picked up on that. <laughs> wow. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Overall advice for pile number two for love in the next 30 days. Wow. I'll take it all. Okay. Beauty. So find the beauty in, in every day. That's um two. So the beauty in partnerships as well. And maybe coming to terms with, with the fact that someone finds you beautiful, right? Because I feel like you go about making everyone else's life beautiful, especially if you have a servant heart, you know? It's like you're realizing that, wow, it's so nice to be seen and held. Resistance, yeah, there's been some hold back of this person's feelings, or perhaps your own. If these two lines didn't feel like, if that one felt like you and that one felt like them, then flip it. Uh, the masculine, ooh, yeah, making big, bold moves. That's a very Aries kind of energy right there. This is also something that feels very balanced. Again, if this person is like a judge or a lawyer or something like that as well, uh, or uh, maybe uh, a person in uniform, you know, an authority, authoritative figure. The sixes are also about cooperation and healing. So this could be an extremely healing relationship for you. Um, and that's why it's like when you know, you know, kind of energy. And this doesn't have to be as serious as um, an engagement. It could just be like a gift. Okay. It could be a gift. And this person's like, I prepared this for you earlier. And it was a secret. I feel like you have high standards and high values and you've made that very clear to this person and that they're, they're stepping up to, to match that, to meet that. So that's, that's, that's the beauty of partnerships. Okay. Or at least a healthy relationship. So if you have felt some resistance in the past where you're like, I can feel the chemistry, but I'm in denial about it. I do feel like that blindfold is coming off and you're starting to go, Oh, hang on. Let me reflect on this. <laughs> Let me assess this. Okay, peace. Yeah, you just feel at home. You feel seen, heard, held. Even in this person's energy, you feel held. You don't have to physically be held by this person. And abundance, absolutely. There's wealth here. There's money here. There's um, generosity here. Absolutely. Wow, such an interesting reading, pile number two. Of course, only take what resonates, but please let me know in the comments below because this is exciting. <laughs> and if this is someone's novel, like, wow, it's going to be a hit. <laughs> Please ground yourself if this resonated and you'd like to find out more specifics for your own situation. You can book a private reading with me in the link in the description box. Um, but I thank you so much for spending time with me today. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm wishing you all the best. Enjoy. Pile number three, you chose the bloom card. It looks absolutely stunning. I love that. How it looks in the camera. <sighs> Ah, love it. And this is your reading all about love in the next 30 days. We're going to keep it nice and short, but this looks like something that is, I'm hearing like Fern Gully. That is one of my favorite movies ever. Um, it's kind of like a nighttime bloom or one of those flowers that only blooms in a full moon. Um, can't remember what it is, but my friend has one in her backyard and it's just incredible. Um, it feels rare rare to feel this um like things are going right in multiple areas of your life and there's no competition you're all like blooming in unique formation let's get some astro dice out here okay that one wanted to really you know <laughs> assert itself of course it did it's it's uh number one so the first house is all about identity a little bit of ego oh i didn't even see where they landed okay aquarius so water, uh, air sign energy here. Um, 
Why did I say water? Probably because it looks like water. Um, and then we have Venus energy, which is ruled by Taurus and Libra. And this is about love and money. And interestingly, it's about aesthetics. And if you're in your ego or someone's in their ego, they're interested in aesthetics. So I, not to say that everyone at the gym is in, a, an egotist. Um, I definitely have been frequenting the gym a lot more. But it's like, I, with your ego, you're conscious of your self-image and your appearance and your temperament. And a lot of people go to the gym to work through their issues and heal. So it's, in fact, a lot of people end up ditching their ego um, if they have it at the gym because they're, they're coming face to face with their identity and they're like, oh, this is the layers of myself. I don't know why I'm specifically talking about the gym, but um, aesthetics just made me think of that. So... Uh, this is someone unique with the Aquarius energy. It's independent. Or I could be talking about you here, and that's why this could be such a blooming, like, non-competitive kind of match. If you're all working on yourselves in such a beautiful, healthy way, and you're all like, oh, I want to improve this, and I want to improve that, and this is like project you, then you're going to attract someone who is also project them, which is... I mean, what a, what a great way to meet someone. You're not meeting each other down in the doldrums. Although I think you've had that. Both of you may have had that. That's why that darkness is here. And it's like, oh, we're, we're rising regardless. We're blooming regardless. And didn't pile number one get rise? Yeah, they did. And I, oh, I actually mentioned in pile number one the word bloom. And now I've mentioned rise. So if you were drawn to either of those, go and watch um, both readings. They are pretty short. So, yeah, you might have... Maybe multiple people coming towards you or in your atmosphere over the next 30 days. So who is coming towards pile number three? Who's coming towards pile number three in the next 30 days? Who is in their atmosphere? This could be someone who has clout, has a level of fame or notoriety, uh, who's hardworking or you meet them through work. And of course, maybe someone who is working on their mindset. Um, they might also be working on their money with Venus ruling love and money. And then the five of pentacles is here as like a lack mindset or a feeling of abandonment. Um, you know, they lost their job or they just like broke up with someone and they're looking for a sanctuary and of course a gym or a health retreat or something. It feels healthy. Let's put it that way. It could also be something to do with communication. So it might be, um, yeah, it, you know, it could even be an online group where you all go to, to talk therapy or something like that. I'm not sure, but it's with that Aquarian energy, it could definitely be online, but it's very unique. It's very, um, quirky is what I want to say. You, you'll know this person because of how hard they are working on themselves and the, how much they want to change their life. Why the magician in reverse? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Because they don't believe that they could manifest love just yet. They're kind of like, okay, it's project me, but I'm not sure that I have what it takes to start thinking about love because I'm looking at my North star. I'm looking at where I need to go and what I need to work on myself. And until then, you know, this could be someone who's quite hard on themselves and that can be, you know, as part of our ego, a shadow side, which is maybe why this is in the darkness as well. Anything else you can tell me about this person? Because I'm not completely sold on that yes, just yet. Seven of Pentacles, Justice. It's not like they're against falling in love again, but it could be that they're going through a divorce. I know I say that a lot with the Justice card, but it's, you know, that's such a common thing. Um, that the investment that they've made into that relationship they'd rather pour into themselves to begin with. Um, it would have to be kind of so something really special or they're willing to keep investing, but I just don't think that they fully believe that they can do it yet. Yeah. Hierophant now. They still want to heal. They still feel like they have to maybe get counseling or something like that. Um, or they've just said to themselves, like, I'm fully just focused on, you know, getting into shape and finishing my course or my degree or on my job. Interesting. But I don't think that they're against commitment. It's just that commitment has been against them. 
they feel like they would have to pull a rabbit out of a hat to be able to love again. It's not entirely like, um, you know, it would be like, ta-da, and the, like, golf claps, you know? Um, it's not something where they feel empowered just yet. All right, all right. How does pile number three feel about this person? You, <laughs> they're probably very attractive, and they. This is one that they probably don't even know that. Let's let's be real. If they do, um, if they do, of course the ego is here. But you probably think they're very attractive, and therefore they've got an ego, and therefore they would be like hard to get, um, or that they've got a lot of competition. But you're like, hang on, I have feels like. I, it's not just my eyes that are forming hearts. <laughs> okay, okay. Ten of Pentacles. You can see that you've already imagined, imagined like marrying this person or committing to this person and you've imagined like you've named your children. <laughs> the works. Okay, but you're like, well, I can't do much about it because they're not really in this empowered energy. So I'm just going to hang here until they are. <laughs> Interesting. So what happens over the next 30 days between this pair then? What happens over the next... Okay. Bam. Slowly but steadily, I feel like they're starting to come around. I feel like it, they are going to get a lot done. Now, if you like resonate more as this person rather than this person, then obviously when I say they, I'm talking about you. But otherwise, I'm talking about the person coming towards you. I hope that makes sense. It's like they're slowly getting things done, but it's like step by step they're getting it done. And it actually adds up to something quite amazing. Now, Pile 2 also got King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Divine Counterpart, and the Seven of Swords. I've shuffled and cut and reshuffled this deck. Um, so there is this energy of you both doing really well for yourselves, but you're also, um, if one's going to protect and provide them, one's willing to receive. Okay, so take it how it resonates. Um, obviously, there's an element of masculine and feminine, but we have both within each of us you also have wow like so many major arcana cards here this is really cool you've got the magician even though it's in reverse you've got the hangman you've got justice which came out before and now you have strength and the wheel of fortune okay so this goes from strength to strength to strength even though it feels like it's moving incrementally like the needle is moving incrementally it's like the wheel spinning in the wheel of fortune it's like you know when it gets to the last thing it goes and you think it stopped and then it goes and it flaps onto the next like buzzword. It's like da -da 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 -da, jackpot. That's that's what I feel like is happening because this wheel of fortune is something that feels um, it, feel, it feels like receiving an award. It feels lucky. You've got this receiving energy of the Queen of Pentacles. You've got this lucky breakthrough, expect the unexpected kind of thing happening. And Venus is something that you receive love and money. You receive. Um, the blessings of the fruits of your labor in terms of working on your physical body. And you're open to receiving love. I definitely feel that. But it may take all, uh, almost all the 30 days that you were watching this video, whenever you were watching it, for this person to actually confess that they have feelings for you. And maybe even that by then they'll apologize. And there is this quirkiness coming through again. Um, so they might have a wicked sense of humor, um, but they, uh, they appear quite determined in their own little bubble in their own world. Like it's that kind of person at the gym that's headphones on, they're all business, no play. But if you accidentally like, um, need to grab a weight from each other or something like that, there's going to be the most hilarious exchange or you get uh, like, um, you get a hint of what they're listening to and you're just blown away. You're like the, the, this you know, meaty guys listening to classical music, for example. Like, it's something that just feels like left a field. Um, and they, they might actually end up apologizing and saying, look, I, I just had some stuff to deal with. It wasn't that I was completely ignoring you. Like, I saw you in my peripheral vision. Of course I did. Where, like, we've got this energy. So, look, okay, let's, let's get some overall advice for the future of this connection. Yeah, you need to hear this. You need to hear that this person has feelings to put your mind at ease. So try not to let your imagination run away with you and like have this person's babies in your mind and then be absolutely crushed by your own expectations. A little bit of Delulu is amazing. I love that for you. But um, 
Yeah, I mean, you still got to keep it real because this person is very grounded in reality, I feel, or at least in their own reality. Um, and they just have some, some outside stuff to deal with. Um, and so do you, I feel. Like, that's exactly what you could be mirroring each other. That's exactly why you're meeting where you're meeting. Why the Page of Wands in reverse? It's like you get a, a fresh new beginning. It's like, okay, let's do this. Let's exchange uh, love here. We've grown in strength, not just in our physical bodies, but also uh, it's opened up our heart again because when we feel good about ourselves, it's self-love. You know, there's infinite potential. Okay, I've tamed the beast within. Now I can tame the beast of the heart. Right, let's have this breakthrough. Okay, now we're up late doing fun things. <laughs> also working on our physical body, rather than stressing, here's our cup of love, but why the page of wands in reverse? Why the page of wands in reverse? Oh, three of wands. Okay. Because you, where you thought that this person was a bit of a player or had many options, you're actually going to realize that this person was kind of waiting for you as well. And there's no more waiting. There's no more hanging about in this limbo phase. It's like, oh, oh, we re we're really doing this. For some of you, if you already know this person, it's um, that you're both working on yourselves so much that you actually come back together very healed. And that's very rare. So I'd just like to congratulate you if that's that energy for you. Um, but you can kind of trust this person is how this feels. Take, of course, this is going to land differently in reality for all of you. But when you maybe thought this person was a player player, like they, they're not out here surveying the landscape. They were just, like I said, very much in their own zone. Um, and they just really wanted to tick off very kind of Virgo energy as well here. They just wanted to tick off all the, the things before they could really give themselves permission to love. So make sure you're giving compassion to yourself in the meantime, um, regardless of whether you resonate as masculine or feminine. What else is at play here between these two for pile number three? What's at play in this connection between pile three and the person coming towards them in the next 30 days, please, spirit? What's the dynamic here? Of course, I'm not going to be telling you and I think you guys are smart, smart enough to realize that. I'm not going to be telling you that, yes, this is the one, this is the person you're going to marry when we're just talking about the next 30 days. So um, I just feel like I need to mention that because it's, it's, it's like you have such a desire to love. It's eating you up. It's like burning, <laughs> a burning desire. And when you, and I guess when you know that you've met someone and you're like, wow, that's, that's the kind of person I want. It's very easy to be like, wow, over, overly fantasize about it. But make sure you're giving like your own life that kind of romantic treatment. Okay, you deserve love. <laughs> Just as I say, I'm not going to tell you if this is the one. And it literally says this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Look, if this is someone that you have already had a dalliance with or it's literally an ex from the past then this playful energy between the two of you and them finally shooting their shot in this breakthrough kind of energy, this lucky, happy-go-lucky kind of energy of karma coming back around, of maybe karma between the two of you being, um, you know, healed, rewritten, then now it's time to recapture romance and allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Engagement! Wow. Okay, look, this Ace of Cups could be very much this... Let's engage in this relationship. Let's make this official. Or it could be, hey, we were so close last time. Let's not waste any more time. If you want to feed the Delulu, if it fits, it fits. <laughs> All right, let's get some final advice here for pile number three and this connection. Balance. This is a, a card of 10 as well. So something is coming to a close. One more. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, look at that. Extremes. I don't want to hold it too far up in case YouTube gets cranky because there's like a back. It's not even anything bad. It's a back. Anyway, it says extremes. This is um, something that, again, you just need to assess what, what the situation is for what it is. You need to control what you can control. Um, and you need to reflect on your own stuff. Okay, so where you might be 
giving so much energy away to this person in your dreams or whatever, uh, in your everyday, like they're just following, the thoughts of them are following you around. Make sure you're romanticizing your own life. I need to reiterate that. But yeah, there's again this, this heat between the two of you. The path, okay? So yeah, this is synchronized. This is very like divine. You were meant to see each other. You were meant to cross paths and perhaps you were meant to grow, right? This is very uh, star card kind of energy right here. You were meant to grow into this um, advancement. The two of you were meant to bloom from this dark place. In fact, look at that card and this card. You were both meant to bloom from this like darkness into, well, we're following the northern lights. We're following the star where we're going to be okay. We're going to, um, we've got that hope and that faith and we're going to heal this connection or we're going to heal our hearts and we're going to become better independently, right? With that first house. This really feels like you uh, coming face to face with yourself. So if you're around the age of 27, 28, or they are, um, this could be a sudden return of sorts. And it's like, wow, I'm meeting the love of my life. And it's, it feels destined. Um, and especially like with that eight, it feels very, um, anything is possible here. And you also have fruition. Okay. So there is some abundance to be enjoyed here. Okay. In whatever form that you would like it to be. Um, you get to indulge in that. Um, balance, like I said, with something closing out and will. Okay. So this is one and three is a four. So where there's a will, there's a way, but also there's a sense of, um, willpower required here. Okay. Because it's like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm diligent, I'm doing the thing. Um, it's very blooming kind of energy. Okay. I'm going to reach towards the sunlight. I'm going to reach towards the starlight. Yes, let's go right? You've, you're very determined. The two of you are. So in saying that, if that person's determined about their fitness and their healing, you can count that they're going to be determined about love once they allow themselves to love again, which is similar to the end message of pile number three, allowing themselves to love, but people are going through it. So everyone give some, give yourself some grace, give others some grace, um, communicate effectively and clearly. Uh, and, and don't ever quit on yourself. Okay. So sending you so much love. Let me know how this resonates in the comments below. If it does really resonate for you and you want to get more detailed specifics for your own situation, uh, please consider booking a reading, uh, private reading with me in the link in the description box. But yeah, thank you so much and enjoy this. Let me know. Maybe come back and let me know. It's cool. Hmm. Enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.